This is Engineer Nasir from NCET. Today I bring for you a very important topic in the field of HVAC piping and it is condensate drain piping for HU and FCU. Today I will explain you how to make the correct trap for the condensate drain piping and how to select the proper pipe size for the condensate piping for HU and FCU. Normally the people ignore this subject and sometime during testing and commissioning or later on we suffer because of improper trap sizing in one of my previous project also we suffer because someone he did not make the proper trap for one HU and we face big problem in the end of this video I will tell this story how we solve this problem before starting the calculation let us see what is condensate drain condensate drain in simple words we can define as Whenever the air conditioning unit runs, it extracts the moisture from the air passing through it. Condensate drain generated is being collected in a drain pan which is placed below the cooling coil. This pan must be drained continuously to prevent overflow and causing any equipment damage. Why we need trap in condensate drain piping? If there is no trap or the trap is too short, the water in the drain pan will not drain, causing flooding and air spray effect inside the HU. You can explain it as the negative pressure inside the drain pipe will cause the air to backflow into the system. This incoming air stream due to the negative pressure created by Dara through fan could have enough velocity to pick up droplets from the water at the bottom of the drain pan and can generate a spray or mist. The mist that is carried by the air can make the fan and duct work wet and can create a big humidity issue in the space or the room where it is feeding. Now we will see how to select the condensed drain pipe. It is very simple, you can find the table from International Plumbing Code. This table is showing the condensed drain pipe size diameter with respect to the unit capacity. If you will see in the first row, we will find up to 20 tons of refrigeration capacity of the unit. We need to select the pipe size 3-4 inch. If our unit capacity is from 20 tons and up to 40 tons, then the condensed drain pipe size diameter will be 1 inch. If our unit capacity is from 40 to 90 tons, then the pipe size diameter will be 1 and quarter inch for the condensate. If our unit capacity is 90 tons and up to 125 tons, then the condensed drain pipe size diameter will be 1 and half inch. If the unit capacity will be 125 to 250 tons, then the condensed drain pipe size diameter will be 2 inch. In this way, using this table, you can select the condensed drain pipe size for any equipment. With the help of this layout, we will see how to use this table for selecting the diameter for the FC unit and the condensed drain pipeline. This layout is showing for FCU having a capacity of 12 ton each and are connected to a common network of condensed drain piping. We will select the diameter of condensed drain piping for this network using the table. We will start from FCU1. You can see this FCU has a capacity of 12 tons so it will come in the range from 0 to 20 ton capacity and the corresponding diameter is 3-4 inch you can see we have selected a diameter of 3-4 inch for the condensed drain piping that is coming from FCU1. Then we will go to FCU2. As this FCU also has a capacity of 12 ton, so the condensed drain pipe that is coming from the FCU2 will have the diameter of 3-4 inch like before for FCU1. Then we will go to the main pipe after FCU1 and FCU2 and you can see before this point we have connected two FCU, FCU1, FCU2 having a capacity of 12 tons. So 12 plus 12 will be 24 tons. 
so the capacity at this point will be 24 ton we'll go to the table to find the corresponding diameter it will come in the range from 20 to 40 ton so we will select the pipe size 1 inch and you can see we selected the pipe size 1 inch for at this point then we will go to fcu3 in the same way for fcu3 also as this capacity is 12 ton so the branch that is com coming from the fcu will have a diameter of 3 4 inch then we will go to the main pipe after fcu3 if you will see before this point we have connected to this point 3 fcu having a capacity of 12 in uh, 12 ton so 12 plus 12 plus 12 will be 36 ton if we will see in the table this is coming in the range from 20 to 40 ton capacity and the corresponding diameter is 1 inch so we have selected the diameter for this pipe 1 inch we will go to fcu number 4 this fcu also has the capacity 12 ton so the branch that is coming from the fcu will have the same diameter like before 3 4 inch but the main after connecting the 4 fcu as we have connected 4 fcu before this point each capacity 12 ton so the total capacity at this point will be 48 ton and when we will go to see the table it is coming in the range from 40 to 90 ton capacity and the corresponding diameter for this capacity is one and quarter inch so we have selected a diameter one and quarter for the pipe at this point the same way you can find the diameter for condenser drain for any equipment and at any point of the condenser drain pipe net, uh, network what you need to make simply add the capacity of the units that are connected before this point and go to the table find the corresponding diameter for this ton now we'll come to the main topic calculation of trap size for condensed drain piping for hu and fcu but before starting the calculation we need to understand the configuration of the ac unit that is FCU and HU. We can divide these uh, units in two types. One is draw through types and another is blow through types. In draw through types, the cooling coil is before the fan, while in, in blow through type, the cooling coil is after the fan. But in common use is only draw through type. This picture is showing a P trap for draw through type of unit. And you can see there is two end points of this piping number one and number two number one is that which is connected to the condensed drain pipe that is coming from the fcu and hu and number two is the point which is connected to the condensed drain piping network and in between this is trap which we need to make calculation if you will see in this trap between the bottom of the pipe that is coming from the FCU or HU and the pipe that is going to the condensed drain piping network there is one height we call it H we need to make calculation for this H we will calculate the value of H equal to fan inlet pressure plus 1 inch this inlet pressure will be in water column it is approximately 250 pascal and in draw through unit as we know the cooling coil will be before the fan and all filter will be before it so after fan there is no accessories so the fan inlet pressure will be equal to external static pressure so we can calculate the value of H equal to external static pressure in water column plus one inch of water column and one inch water column is equal to approximately 250 pascal so you can see the height between the bottom of pipe that is coming from the HU and FCU and the bottom of pipe that is connected to the condenser drain pipe we can calculate by this formula H that is external static pressure plus 1 inch water column then we will come below you can see one U shape 
so the height the for this u shape you can cal calculate the height between the bottom of the pipe that is connected to the condenser drain network and the top of this u will be h by 2 so after calculating the value of h we can complete the calculation for this strap let us make one sample exercise let us assume we have an hu having external static pressure of 500 pascal as we know the formula to calculate the height h between the bottom of the pipe that is coming from the hu and fcu and the bottom of the pipe that is connected to the condenser drain network h equal to fan inlet pressure plus 1 inch as our hu is draw through type so in this case the cooling coil and all filter are before the fan so after the fan there is no accessory so the fan inlet pressure will be equal to hu external static pressure assuming the hu external static pressure 500 pascal we will put this value in the formula h h equal to 500 by 250 as this pressure we need to put in the water column and one water column is equal to approximately 250 pascal so after calculation we will get the value for h equal to 3 inch and h by 2 will be one and a half inch so by this formula we can find the value of h the height between the condenser drain pipe that is coming from the hu and fcu and the condenser drain pipe that is connected to the piping network will be 3 inch and the height between the bottom of the pipe that is connected to the piping network and the top of the pipe in u will be h by 2 that is equal to one and a half inch so in this way you can make calculation for any equipment trap for trap calculation in blow through type the difference between the pipe that is coming from the hu and the pipe that is connected to the piping network is very small this minimum half inch and if you have more space you can take more but the height between the bottom of pipe that is connected to the condenser drain network and the top of the pipe in the u is h and we need to make calculation for this h h will be equal to fan outlet pressure plus half inch as in this case the fan is before the cooling coil and after the filters so you need to calculate the value of fan outlet pressure precisely or you can do one thing to be more safe you can consider it as fan total static pressure but sometimes this value will be more so you need to find the exact value for fan outlet pressure but at as this type of unit is not in use so we are not using commonly for this type so we will not go in detail for it but if you ha have this case so you can do calculation by for this formula h is equal to fan outlet pressure plus half inch now as i promise you in the beginning i will tell you my experience which we face because of improper trap height for one our age in previous project our foreman he did not make the proper height of the condenser trap and wa water start accumulating inside the issue after some time we receive a complaint of leakage from the slab of water because the pad between below the issue it was rectangular and empty from inside so when it's full of water, the water is start leaking below. Then we try to search how this water is leaking. We try so many ways. Then one day we start the HU and we open the door of HU during operation. When we open the door, what we see the water is collected in the bottom and we open the door, water splashes from bottom and go up to the roof of the HU. It was big HU. 
then different people give different suggestions some people say this is manufacturing defect and we contact the manufacturer they promise also came and to investigate and it was big story and there was so many people involved in this one and no one was able to find the actual reason for this happening then we contact our senior manager who has very long experience in the field maybe 30 or 40 years in the field of hvac piping we call him and explain him the situation he tell me check the trap size maybe your trap is not proper make calculation and again make the trap then tell me what is happening we follow his suggestion and we remove the trap and we make calculation as per the static pressure for the hu and make new trap and fix before starting we clean the hu we remove all water and when we start the hu and we see one day two day three day one week one month there is no problem and the problem was solved so this condensate drain everyone try to ignore and it is nothing it is minor issue but sometimes it became the source of big big problems thank you very much